problem-solving thinking man. Sometimes problems have keywords and sometimes they do not. Sometimes information is given that is not important to solve the problem. To solve problems, you must think carefully what the problem says. Let's examine this problem from the workbook. A city provides $2,500,000 for its weekly budget. The expenses for the first week in January was $2,457,658. And for the second week, it was $2,784,942. How much was the expenses for the first two weeks in January? Now, it's critical in doing problems like this to think. That's why it's labeled thinking math. You have to use logic. What is the problem and what is the question asking? The question is, how much was the expenses for the first two weeks in January? Now, here it says the city provides $2,500,000 for its weekly budget. That's irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the question. The question is asking about expenses for the first two weeks. The first week is over here, and January was, this is the number, $2,457,658. And for the second week, it was $2,784,942. This has nothing to do with the problem. And so when you look at a problem like this, you have to think, you have to use logic. And so this is put in there to make you think what you're doing. The question is, how much was the expenses for the first two weeks in January? Let's solve the problem. So for the first week, it was $2,457,658. And for the second week, it was $2,000,000. $784,942. Let's add these two numbers together. 8 plus 2 is 10. 1 plus 5 is 6. Plus 4 is 10. 1 plus 6 is 7. Plus 9 is 16. 1 plus 7 is 8. Plus 4 is 12. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 8 is 14. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 7 equals 12. And 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 2 is 5. And don't forget to put the commas. This shows the millions, and this shows the thousands. So the question, how much was the expenses for the first two weeks in January? Their answer is $5,242,600 were the expenses for the first two weeks in January. Overlooking this beautiful harbor in California, they were constructing a condominium. They were now selling designer models. Only three are left. The list prices for the condominiums range from $700,000 to $2 million. Say two in your family bought a condominium, one for $859,000 and the other one for $1,799,000. How much did both condominiums cost? Let's solve this problem. One condominium cost $859,000. The other condominium cost $1,799,000. The question, how much did the two condominiums cost? So we have to add these two numbers together. So $859,000 plus Zero, 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 
9 plus 9 is 18. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 9 is 15. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 7 is 16. Don't forget to put the commas. So the cost for the two condominiums, if you bought them, it would cost $2,658,000. Now, to get an idea what $2 million would comes to, if you earned a hundred dollars a day and you save this every day, it would take you over 54 years to save two million dollars. Give you a little bit of idea how much two million dollars is. Keep up the good work. You're on the road to learning mathematics. After completing the problems on this page, Take the test, and don't forget, double check your work. We have also provided double check and triple check additional helps and tests to help you master this unit. Please work the problems and take the test in your workbook. Number success, the practical way to learn.